Hey everybody and welcome back. This is Dustin Meyer. Sorry I don't have my face cam up today. We're in the process of uh, switching between studios. So unfortunately it got packed over and I forgot that it has already been moved. So <laughs> anyways, uh, we are going to go into looking in uh, Portrait Pro 17 Studio Max uh, for their batch processing. This is something that you guys have requested a lot, and I apologize that it's taken me so long to get this up and running, but we're just going to start from the beginning now, just letting you guys know this is not one of your super short, you know, two minute types of tutorials. This is, you know, probably going to be a little bit longer than that, hopefully, you know, around 10 minutes or so. So for those of you guys looking for a quick fix, this is probably not the video for you. However, we'll try to keep it short and sweet. So let's just jump Jump right into it. So I've already got Portrait Pro up and running. We're going to click on Image Batch, and we're going to go down to where I've got it. Uh, I've got five images today, I think. So let's see here. So we're going to select all, click Open, and save to specific photo or specific folder. Sorry. And all right. And we're going to go to uh, okay so we're going to say uh, all faces are female and all faces are adult it's going to start with just the standard because i want to show you guys how to actually create a uh, custom preset for this particular person so that way you can apply it because chances are whatever the uh, the first you know standard preset that pops up is not going to be the right one because every face is different and we want to make sure that it looks good across the board so we're going to click OK and so as you can see up here it's processing that little green status bar it's going to go through each face and the yellow I believe okay yeah it says it's processed and then it will automatically start saving it once all the images have been processed now like I said it'll go ahead and save a quote-unquote you know finished version however uh, you can always go back and change the batch settings but the important thing is right now it's going through and recognizing the faces which you know obviously is an important step here so uh, but what I do is I run it first so it recognizes the faces and then what it'll do is allow you to actually go in and we'll say, you know, edit, you know, a basic image, probably this one down here or something like this one over here where she's looking directly at the camera. So that way I've got a better reference image for creating the custom preset. So let's see here. We're going to go ahead. This one looks like it's already done. So we're going to click on that one and it's going to think here. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so we can actually see the face. And let's see, for the most part, it actually looks pretty good. However, we still have a little bit of shine here, so don't need any face sculpt. However, you guys can always, you know, go in and play around with that. Uh, we're going to go into skin smoothing. Now, here's something I hear a lot of complaints about that uh, people say, you know, the images look way too fake. And honestly, the thing I've got to say about that is uh, for those of you guys that complain too much, if you just take a little bit of time to tweak around with these settings over here under skin smoothing, you'll find that you can make it look nice and realistic because I do that all the time and it's really just a few extra steps. So it's not that hard. So anyways, um, we got a little bit of smoothing already going on here. Imperfections don't really look like we have a whole lot, so I'm not that concerned about it. I think really what I'm looking for is, you know, remove shine. Now, I have found in the past that somewhere between like 85 to 95 is what uh, helps remove the most amount of shine, but also keeping it looking realistic. So we're going to try 85 and little bit but not a whole lot so let's try 95 as a reference and then also you'll see once you get really close like we'll say 98 then it really starts to help kind of minimize let's see we'll even go up to 100 and we'll see what that does so looking a little bit better let's see we're gonna go 
over here and uh, let's see before okay and so there's the before there is the after looks pretty pretty good I think we could always go back and do a little bit more I'm not sure if it's just because there's sweat or whatever uh, let's go into sharpen here now here's the thing about sharpening is you want to go as close in as you can and then I usually do something around you know like maybe 12 or so and you can kind of see in here that you know everything's coming back let's see we're gonna bring that down just a little and then let's see all right we're gonna do up on move imperfections uh, leave everything else remove pores let's take that down uh, because again we don't want it to look too plasticky we got sharpen over here and then also around the mouth uh, texture uh, you want to go up maybe just a little bit because again we're trying to avoid the whole um, you know like plasticky kind of look so skin lighting and coloring let's see modeling uh, I've already got a pretty good amount we're gonna take fixed lighting off and then also um, get rid of this stuff here because she's already got makeup applied so usually what I do is kind of get rid of that now uh, skin color uh, usually I just stick with natural we can go up a little bit more and you can also go in whoops let's see here and just double check on your skin mask so looks like it nailed it pretty good so anyways we're gonna go back and then scroll down a little bit more color correct outside of face brightness contrast we're gonna bring that down and then let's see here tan uh, we're gonna do zero for that one all right makeup I feel like we don't really need it because we already had professional makeup done eyes uh, this is actually for a Miss America contestant so this is her headshot so we just want to make sure it kind of stands out mouth and nose we don't have to worry about that because she doesn't have any um, she doesn't have you know her teeth showing so I don't have to worry about whitening it hair uh, let's see we're gonna go in and do hair tidying mode just a little bit again I've said this in the past this is one of uh, one of my favorites um, let's see here I'm just gonna kind of smooth that out a little bit and what it what this is for is it just kind of helps reduce some of those crossover hairs now I do find that stray hairs out over here are not you know portrait pro is not really made for getting rid of that stuff so we're just gonna leave those and we can remove those in Photoshop later I've got a few videos that show quick ways to get rid of stray hairs so okay and then picture I don't really think we need that background we're gonna do a whole video on that I'm still trying to test out to find the best way to do background so for those of you guys that have been really asking for it I will make sure to let you know once that is up and running so okay now again it does look kind of plasticky you know when you zoom all the way out but when you go into the face you can still see all the texture and stuff so just be mindful of that now okay <laughs> this is important so we're gonna go over to presets we're gonna save and then what we'll do is we're gonna do uh, let's see here test female batch all right and adult female faces only so save that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over here to show summary and we're gonna do change settings and we're gonna go down to reapply and we're gonna to go to female because that's where we put it test female batch and click OK now what it's doing is it's reapplying that uh, preset that I made to all the faces which again I can't stress enough it is super important to go in and just take a few minutes to create a custom preset for each client because everybody's got you know different textures of faces complexions you know some people have oilier faces than others you know XYZ all that kind of stuff so now what we're gonna do is just double check said it's saving saved and then so we got one more here and then we're just gonna go to uh, we're gonna minimize this and then we're gonna open up let's see here we're going to open these and then I'm going to shrink down and I know that stray hair is 
bugging me too. But like I said, we're going to do a completely separate video on that. But let's see, face looks much, much better. We've got nice kind of bright eyes going on. Uh, like I said before, we're not really doing anything with face sculpting because she doesn't need it. We've got just a little bit of highlights on the face. So we're not completely removing any shine because here's the thing. If you guys go in and you try to remove way too much shine, then which you can do with the retouch tool, um, however, we don't want to do that with her because we want a little bit of a glamour look, not too much. And then over here looks good. Might have to go back in and do a little bit of teeth, but her teeth are nice and white to begin with. Let's see, there's this one and I am going to go over here and just double check. So yeah, as you can see, we've got nice detail in the skin. Now, if I go back out and I zoom to fit then you know when you're zoomed out this much because you're crunching all those pixels together it will kind of have that sort of like overly soft sort of look however um when you zoom into 100 percent, it looks much better so that's pretty much it i think um you know i i think that going back through here this is a pretty quick way to do it now i did have one person a while back saying that they wanted to batch you know like 250 images that they were supposed to provide to a client in my opinion uh that's way too much uh because your computer will be sitting there forever and there's always the chance that you know it kind of well you know just didn't accurately retouch all the faces because of different head angles and stuff but as you can see We've got a lot of uh, really accurate faces. And just as a side note, when it comes to, uh, you know, clients and sales and all that stuff, I don't retouch anything until they've actually ordered it. Because why go through and retouch 250 images if, you know, they don't actually use, uh, you know, 90% of those. So, you know, save yourself some time and just retouch the ones that you know they're going to want. So that's pretty much it guys so that's batch processing in portrait pro studio max uh leave a comment and let me know what you think also as always you know if you have any questions or whatever just drop it in the comment box section below and i will do my best i apologize for it taking so long to uh put out another video as most of you guys know uh, i have been uh changing studios and all that stuff and of course with you know wedding and senior portrait season it's been absolutely nuts but there you have it. Uh, I Like I said before, I've got a video on how to do uh, stray hair removal. In fact, I believe it's the video that I posted just before this one. So either way, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to uh, hear, you know, get back your feedback and all that stuff. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at uh, Dustin Meyer. And my Instagram is dmeyerphoto. And Facebook is also Dustin Meyer. So all right, guys. Have a good one, and I will see you in the next video.